So this past weekend, I was in the market to purchase a blood pressure monitor online. And um, I came across, didn't take me long to come across uh, several articles like this one that suggested uh, that about up to 85% of the blood pressure monitors out on the market, and there's probably about 3,000 of them, um, have not been validated, uh, meaning that they have not been checked for accuracy um, in any kind of setting, clinically, clinically or otherwise. So um, logically, the, my next steps were to figure out, okay, well, <laughs> you know, which ones were validated and, um, you know, and, and go from there. Um, and at this point, I want to just, I'm going to walk you through the process that I took and everything, but um, I just want to manage expectations. In the end, um, uh, I ended up going to a, a doctor to get my blood pressure professionally taken um, because by the end of this search process, I was just convinced that no matter what, you know, no matter what the number came out to be, um, you know, from, the, from whatever machine I bought, um, I wasn't going to believe it uh, just based on all the reviews and everything. And then when I went to the doctor, they basically validated what I thought, which is um, these home units are generally not accurate. Even the ones that have been validated, they can throw off inaccurate numbers. And even more to the point, when I went to that doctor, um, the uh, the nurse technician took my vitals, and she used one, uh, you know, professional machine, probably thousand dollars or more. Uh, I've seen them online, and um, I asked her to take it twice. And you know, back to back, they had two different readings, probably about you know, ten points higher, um, you know, on the on the upper level. So, uh, and that was like you know, within thirty seconds of each other. So, when the doctor, I asked her to take it the third time. She's like, no, I'll just have the doctor uh, take it the old-fashioned way. Uh, which she did, and um, I'm now convinced that that's pretty much the only, um, you know, exact way to, to uh, get your blood pressure. So I do know that a lot of you are going to, you know, need a blood pressure monitor, and you're going to want one anyway. And so let me just walk you through um, the quick steps of, you know, how to how to how to find one, um, and um, you know, and, and we'll go from there. But essentially, um, after this article. Um, I wanted to go, well, which ones were valid, uh, validated. Um, as it turns out, each country, it, it gets very <laughs> very challenging, which is why I'm making this video for you. Each country um, has their own organizations that validate blood pressure monitors. As you'll see, um, each country does their own testing. There are two general ones, mostly out of Europe, called Stride and Medavil. Um, and so that's where I started. As it turns out, the United States did recently come out with their own registry just uh, in the um, end of 2020, um, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but I started with these two. And um, this is their site where you can, this is the BP Stride, and where you can actually you know, look individually, you can look them up. They also have a, uh, I'm sorry, this is the Medavil also, you can look it up one by one. Um, once you, you know, you, you can go on Amazon or whatever, plug in the one you want, you can sort it by name. Here was a, I found, a, and I'm going to put links to everything in the bottom uh, so you can easily find it. But this was a complete list of the, not only either preferred devices by uh, by Stride, and I'll show you a second. You'll notice that Omron, which is a European company, and some of you may know this company very well, um, they had the most validated uh, units. Um, they also just had the ones, not their preferred, but just the ones that were validated. Now, <laughs> the tricky part was I was working off this and, and the, um, and the uh, uh, BP one. And as it turns out, these are all European or Asian <laughs> model numbers. And so I was just kind of going back and forth, cross-referencing and whatever. This took hours. In the meantime, I'm looking at reviews here on Amazon and um, driving myself nuts because Essentially, these numbers weren't aligning with the numbers, with the you know the model numbers that I saw. So I said, okay, well, let me go further. Well, which ones are you know? Obviously, let me see if they finally validated in, in the U.S. Which models did they validate? And so this is the U.S. Uh, blood pressure. It's called VDL. And um, when you look online, uh, especially like Amazon, you look at here, it'll click, and the Omron will say it's been validated by VDL. However, not everything that's been validated by BDL has been validated by <laughs> the European ones. I know this is getting confusing to try it, and I'll just show you an example. So, uh, you know, if we take 
this Omron, um, you know, bronze upper arm, which is sold on Amazon. It's one of their cheaper models. It shows validated here in the U.S. based on this protocol. Um, but if you look up here, this is a medaval. You look at what they say about the bronze thing. It says there appears to be no peer-reviewed clinical validation of Israel on their member bronze to measure button. So, meaning in Europe, it's not approved. In the U.S., here it is. It is approved. So now, what do you do? <laughs> um, and in the end, either way, uh, and this is, but you know, some of them have been approved. You know, like this one will say um, approved in in, um, in in Europe, but not on here. Um, and they'll say it's clinically validated, but uh, but but <laughs> uh, but not not according to their protocol. So. Again, this gets very confusing, um, but at the end of the day, to make your life easier, don't go through what I did. If you're, you know, set on buying one, um, you, you have two choices. You could just take, you know, just go buy what the U.S. Um, here we are, the U.S. VDL is, because these numbers that you see here, these model numbers, this is the stuff you'll find on Amazon, this stuff on Walmart. Um, these are easier to find now. Unfortunately. As I said, the U.S. only started compiling this list in 2020. So if you look, there's like three, six, nine. Uh, these are already getting into professional grade that are going to cost thousands. So you know, maybe only 10, 10 of these names. And by the way, just stay away from the risk uh, monitors. If you're going to buy a blood pressure monitor, I read all the studies. Just you have to go with an upper arm uh, uh, blood pressure monitor. Anyway, so stick on this list if you want. You can start cross-referencing um, you know, using this, uh, you know, using the European references. I'm telling you, it will get frustrating because at the end of the day, you can take um, any number of these uh, blood pressure monitors. When you start to look at the reviews, there's going to be, you know, dozens and dozens of people. Even the recent reviews that claim, you know, it wasn't accurate. Now, some people are just it's going to be inaccurate because they're not taking it correctly. It depends on how you place that armband um, and so forth. And some people, it's just because of the machine. It's not their own fault. It's just literally the machines will give different readouts, as did the one when I went to the doctor, and that's a thousand plus dollar machine. Um, so again, uh, you know, the only surefire way um, is to, you know, the old uh, stethoscope that uh, you know the, the, the ball that you uh, uh, that you use to <laughs> inflate it, the, the old school way. This one, um, I'm actually tempted to uh, to purchase one and, and learn how to do it myself. Um, just given you know the, all the reviews and, and, and what my doctor said. So anyway, um, I know this is a bit confusing, but um, a I just wanted to make sure that at the very least, if you're going to buy a blood pressure monitor, let it come, let it be the one on this you know U.S. validation list, uh, or you know, let it be from one on the European validation list, either from the BP Stride or the Medavil. Um, after that, you know, if you, if you can cross-reference them and they're on all three, that's great. I heard this A and D one was, this A and D UA651. However, you know, I looked at the reviews on Amazon and again, it's all mixed. So, um, but yes, I did want you to, you know, at least have a best shot of getting the best one. Um, and. Uh, save yourself some time and hassle at least perhaps you know just knowing that these exist these lists um, that should be helpful to you i hope it was if it was please do give it a thumbs up uh, for this video and if i can uh, help you if you have any questions um, you know write them in the comments below i'll get back to you as soon as possible um, I, I can't recommend why i haven't actually purchased one myself um, so there isn't one particular one that i would recommend but um, again i wanted to point you guys in the right direction Thank you.